What is an illegal thing most people don't know is illegal? In Louisiana, if you bite someone with your natural teeth, that's simple assault. But if you bite someone with false teeth, it's aggravated assault. That's a holdover from the days of indentured servants. California law stating that it is illegal to wash your neighbor's car without their permission. Also, in San Francisco and Long Beach here you cannot store anything other than an automobile in your garage. Edit this is no longer a law ordinance in Long Beach anymore. The SF1 is for commercial structures only. But at one point it definitely was illegal to use your garage as anything other than a parking spot for your car. People could do stuff like rent out their garage. Tax free. Washing oil paint down the sink. It can contaminate drinking water. Same with dumping oil in the woods. It's a shame that it's so common though. Yeah. Disposing of it properly is so expensive. Though. In my home county it costs $50 to dispose of oil based anything. Then more after 8 gallons. So I have a jar of oil mineral oil on the counter just sitting there for a year now on the off chance I'll have more and not spend 50 to throw away a bit over a cup of oil. This was one of the things that I could never understand. Why would you charge huge amounts to dispose of hazardous materials? It's counterproductive to do that because a lot of poorer people do work to their vehicles and they can't afford to pay that kind of money to get rid of their waste products. Most counties have household hazardous waste locations where they take it for free. For exactly that reason. Double stops at stop sins is illegal in Nevada. If you roll forward and stop again, you broke a law. This is frustrating because they put stop signs really far back from the street in Nevada. So it is nearly impossible to safely turn without making a double stop. That's the stupidest driving law I've ever heard. You gotta commit you coward Nevada. Apparently. Illegal to throw condoms from parade floats in Louisiana, although it's not heavily enforced lol. Also illegal to have reptiles less than 200 yards from a parade in Louisiana. I'm not saying the reptile law is completely necessary, but I definitely saw a guy know around Mardi Gras time with a huge ass snake on his shoulder. So maybe it is a little necessary. Putting squirrels down your pants for the purpose of gambling. Well. There goes my weekend plans. Viralagal here. If a 16 year old girl sends a nude selfie to her 16 year old boyfriend. She has produced and distributed child pornography. If he does not know what she sent and opens it and immediately deleted it. He is not guilty of receiving child pornography. If he asks for a pic. He is guilty of soliciting child pornography. If he sees it and then downloads it. He is guilty of possession of child pornography. If they are adjudicated as adults they will have to register as sex offenders for the rest of their life. One of the only cases where you can simultaneously be the minor victim and adult perpetrator. Found guilty as an adult for being a child. Maybe not that related to the subject. But a fun fact in Belgium you get fined less for masturbating in public than pissing in public. Oh no officer I'm not peeing I'm whacking one out right now. In Alaska it's illegal to whisper in someone's ear while they deer hunt. In North Carolina, it's illegal to sing out of key. And it was illegal to go masked in public, if not for the purposes of theater, a parade, or a holiday. It's an old dinty clan law. And they had to have the law stayed, so the governor could issue a mask mandate for the pandemic. In North Carolina it is also unlawful to worry the squirrels on the Capitol grounds. I read it with my own eyes while perusing criminal statutes one day. That seems like a slightly archaic phrasing for. Hey. Jerkus. Stop harassing the wildlife. Vermont has a law on the books 1999 that a good faith effort must be put in to serve apple pie with either a scoop of ice cream, cold milk, or a slice of cheddar cheese no less than 0.5 ounces. I feel like the dairy farmers of Vermont united to bring this law about. Yeah this is wholesome, and then suddenly sinister the more you think about it. Putting something in a person's mailbox without sending it via the post. Edit applicable in the United States. Edit an award. Thank you very much. What? Where is this? So you can tape it to their door, but not the mailbox. I think you can tape things to the mailbox post, or stick it in the newspaper slot, 
but don't put things in the actual numbered box or attach it to the outside. You are also not allowed to wedge things in between the flag and the box. And some newspapers have very explicit signage that the tube is for their paper only. It's illegal to feed or touch wild dolphins with up to a 10,000 fine and a year in jail. Similarly, it is illegal to initiate contact with a manatee, but you're allowed to touch them as long as they touched you first. What counts as initiating contact? Like, can I stand near it with a sad look on my face, hoping he takes pity on me and approaches me first, or is that too manipulative? What if I just kinda whisper PSSSTTT, manatee, what are the odds you let me pet that? So when you swim with the manatees in FL you can get close and put your hand out, but you can't touch them. Now if your hand is out and they swim up against and or along your hand that is allowed. Amp Florida man. I have swam with the manatees in Crystal River a bunch of times now. In the state of Illinois you may not have more than 75 salamanders on your person. What about in? You disgust me. Have an upvote. In Canada it's illegal to walk around with a weapon for the purposes of self-defense. However you can walk around with a weapon for literally any other reason. You can literally have a samurai sword because it looks cool and that's legal. But if it's for in case you're attacked it's illegal. This reminds me of sales tax works. If you buy a pumpkin to carve it for Halloween. It's taxed. But food is exempt. So if you buy it to eat it, it is not taxed. But never when buying a pumpkin have I been asked what I'm going to do with it. You have a real I'm gonna duck this pumpkin look about you so nobody wanted to ask. Explain to them about letting it sit in the sun so it is warm and putting a carb hole in the, the back to create suction. To be convincing. In Scotland, you cannot pick up roadkill that you killed with your own car. However, the car behind you can pick it up and do whatever with it. Edit to add this is partially the same with foxes. It is illegal to intentionally look for foxes to kill. Usually it's a group of hunters with dogs that chase after the foxes. You're not allowed to kill them on purpose. But if your dog goes and gets one, it's fair play. I'm wondering if it's to discourage people from hitting anything on purpose just to take it. I know some people in my country hit pheasants and rabbits deliberately. Take them home and eat them. I can imagine people might do the same with other small wild animals for their meat or fur. I believe that's correct. Guns and hunting are strictly controlled. A law saying you can't deliberately hit tasty animals with your car would be unenforceable since you'd be unable to prove intent. But a law saying you can't accidentally hit animals would be overzealous and a waste of time to prosecute all the people that just had accidents. It's impractical to have a nationwide law saying no one can touch dead animals. So if you want to stop people deliberately hitting pheasants and rabbits so they can eat them, the best solution is to ban hitting then picking them up. It leaves the obvious loophole that someone else could pick them up. But I guess it's uncommon enough not to matter. Owning more than 6 dildos in TX. What happens if one has 7 plus cucumbers other certain veggies? Using an elephant to plow a cotton field in North Carolina. Waving someone on in traffic. Only people like traffic cops and construction workers can direct traffic. And if you wave someone on and they get in an accident as a result you can be held liable. The best driving advice is don't be nice. Be predictable. Don't forfeit your right of way. Don't wave people on. Etc. I still think it's bonkers that people will just go without double checking after someone waves them on. That's an insane level of trust to put into a random stranger. Best driving advice I've been told is to drive like nobody else knows what they are doing. In North Carolina, having sex between the beds in a hotel motel. First of all, I would thank you all for your upvotes and awards. Had no idea this would blow up. Second of all, just wanted to let you know that I'm in the process of diving down the rabbit hole trying to validate this law. I remember reading about it years ago in a book of lists. One of the lists was top 10 strange US state laws. And this was one of them. Now the only immediate reference I can find to the wording that I typed was from this clickbait side link. Diving deeper. The only NC law I can find that references sex in hotels is NCGS 14 186 which makes it illegal for unmarried couples 
to occupy a hotel room for immoral purposes. Now it gets tricky. Apparently, this law was challenged in 1978, in State v. Sanders. It was determined that the term immoral was too vague to form a solid prosecution. And the case was dismissed. Now this is just supposition on my part. But it seems that the language that defined immoral may have been contained in NCGS 14, 185 and NCGS 14, 187. Both of these statutes were appealed in 1975.3 years before the 1978 case. There doesn't seem to be an easy way to find repealed statutes online. LOL. Best hope may be to dig up someone's old law library with a hard copy of NC General Statutes printed before 1975. Anyway, all I can say is sorry. LOL. I guess you can't always trust old paperback list books and clickbait sites. But it was a fun little quest to try and source this. Good night everyone. And thanks again. I would be interested in knowing how they will provide proof of this crime. Edit for everyone commenting black lights that just proves where the fluids fell. It does not prove where you did the deed. All sex in North Carolina must be videotaped and sent to me for a view. In my country suicide is considered a felony. It's to allow first responders more ways to act. Like sewer policy our FISA can kick down a door or hospitals can force a short period of observation on a suicidal person. Never any jail time involved. The only crime that can you can never be punished for if you are successful. In my state court it's illegal to sell pickles that don't bounce. Keeping a bald eagle feather you find on the ground US OVS. There are a massive amount of crows where I live. Once I was collecting the feathers on the ground underneath their nesting area when a cop told me that collecting feathers was illegal. I guess it's to keep people from killing birds for their feathers. License plate covers. I saw one yesterday that was tinted and you literally couldn't read the plate even in broad daylight. But even clear ones are illegal in Ohio anyway. Insulting the king of Thailand. In Texas, there is still a law on the books that it is a crime to carry bolt cutters around. It is a leftover from the days of cattle rustlers, when the bad guys would use bolt cutters to take down barbed wire fencing. Pretty sure it hasn't been prosecuted in a hundred years. Yesterday I learned that riding a bike while drunk is just as illegal as drunk driving. Just not regularly enforced. A friend of a friend got a DUI on a horse. Dude was passed out on the house. So he fought it in court by saying he was asleep. So he wasn't driving or directing the horse. But he lost. In Japan, you can use your phone while stopped at a light but you can't legally honk at someone who's too busy playing on their phone in order to let them know that the light turned green. In France it is illegal to have live snails on a high speed train unless you purchase a ticket for the snails. Driving consistently slower than the speed limit, without legitimate reason to do so like road conditions or a vehicle problem. In fact, in some states, it is more points on your license than speeding. Profiting from the photographs of Eiffel Tower taken at night. Chico, CA, it's a 500 fine to make or have a nuclear weapon within city limits. No person shall produce, test, maintain or store within the city a nuclear weapon, component of a nuclear weapon, nuclear weapon delivery system, or component of a nuclear weapon delivery system under penalty of chapter 9.60.030 of the Chico Municipal Code. In the US giving any federal employee, especially postal workers, any gift in an amount over 20 each and no greater than 50 in a year, I believe the government wanted to try to ban any gifts. But people were so attached to their postal workers and wanted to give them something, so they did relent. With those strict guidelines above. Also, no joke, it is illegal to kill to Bigfoot, if spotted, in America. Downloading a car. In Nevada there's an old law still on the books, where a property owner may hang an individual who shoots a dog on their property. Also you can't take your camel out on state highways. Making a lane change within the intersection itself. In Arizona it is illegal to hunt whales 
Arizona is a desert and landlocked on all sides. In many jurisdictions, the law requires that drivers come to a complete stop before entering a road from a parking lot, an alley, a private driveway, or a parking ramp. It's to be treated as if there were a stop sign, even though one may not be present. I recently had the pleasure of proving my wife wrong on this point. She was adamant that stopping wasn't required unless there's a sign. I won the bet and she had to cook supper that night.